I'm so awkward at intros. If you're new to the ch I'm like awkward. I'm like sitting like this. Okay, take three. One more time for good luck. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another Lonnie World. Welcome back. Hey guys, what's up? I can't. If you're new here, my name's Lonnie world. I'm just kidding. That's not my last name. Anyways, uh, today's video, if you guys already saw by the title, what I've learned in 2020, you know, basically this video is kind of like for me, like a little reflection. I feel like everybody should have like a reflection of like the past year and how we're going to apply everything we've learned into the next year. Last like a little 2021 resolutions video. So let's just jump right into it. Well, I wrote down my phone. So I'm going to have my phone here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh my God. I got like, oh my God. <laughs> Whole bunch of stuff here okay and my 2021 resolutions yeah, so the first thing that i like became aware of these are things that i haven't exactly like implemented or like fixed yet but they're just things that i become really aware of in my life and like it's saying yes too much to people um, i'm a person that's like a people pleaser don't like to be like oh no i can't i feel so bad all the time so like if somebody asks me for a favor even if it's like interfering completely with my day i feel like i have to say yes and i hate that i'm like that it's like one of my personality traits that I really want to fix because sometimes I'm doing things work on a video or I'm trying to do this and I just feel like what I'm doing isn't important enough for me to say no which is stupid because it is important enough to say no you know you know <laughs> so that's like a big thing I really like learned about myself in 2020 really like how I see 2020 is like we learned in 2021 we are going to apply 2020 learned 2021 apply okay that's like the big thing this freaking year another thing was when we are releasing negative energy and we are realizing that anger is built up or you're getting mad over little situations that you shouldn't actually be getting mad at. I have become so aware of where that like energy and those issues are coming from. Like I could be getting mad about something that has literally nothing to do with the root of my issue. I haven't been able to solve my like problem yet and I'm not ready to open up about it just yet. I've struggled with it for a while. I've finally like been so clear-minded about like the main issue in my life and the reason why like sometimes things don't run as smoothly as I want them to. So I'm glad that I've taken that first step because a lot of people aren't even able to become aware of it and they aren't even able to take that first step which is like they like will just be like why am I so mad all the time or they didn't even like realize that they're so mad all the time and I really have to give a big thing to my boyfriend Jesse he's right there and right there he really helped me with that because he kind of just like made me open my eyes a little bit more and become open-minded about like like that's the root of my issue kind of thing so that was a big thing for me I feel like a lot of people too throughout this year because you've just had like so much downtime to like really think a lot versus like go 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 24 7 it was a good year honestly like we'll say this year sucked and it did for example like my aunt passed away from like COVID and like yeah this that sucks my grandpa's best friend and passed away as well RIP to them that's just rough like that sucks so much and besides the fact of that happening I feel like as every individual that has grown and that has like learned so much and it's helped everybody like get through things and realize things instead of like kind of tossing all our problems like under under our bed I don't know I don't know what like <laughs> comparison to use so I just think that it's been like a good year in that aspect besides the fact that like obviously this pandemic has affected so many people of course also taught me like the importance of spirituality i've been like really really into it lately i just realized that like i've always talked about the things that i wanted to do and i never actually like did them i was like oh my god i want to meditate i want to like get crystals i want to do this do that like i never did it it was just so much of talking versus doing like my big thing this year like i am so tired of like oh my gosh i want to post like two times a week for youtube okay i want to work out i want to get into crystals i want to like learn about my spirituality i talk so much and then i don't apply which is like really annoying about myself and it like really works me up i'm like why am i like that like why can't i just do it instead of talking about it so much I'll like literally my best friends and tell them all the time like okay i'm gonna do this and do that nah, nah, and nothing happens wrong with me i feel like a lot of people are like this too like we talk 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 but we don't do it is so easy to talk about all the things you want to accomplish but it's so hard to just start but once you start and you keep going and you keep to it is when things progress things too with like me it's like you always want to think of like the how you're gonna get there like how am i I going to be successful with YouTube? How am I going to get in shape? Like, blah, blah. Don't worry about how, just do. Do what you know, and things will like align and things will start happening and you'll start noticing things.
things and you'll be like, oh my gosh, like this is all just because I just started. Next thing, nature. Never been like the type of person that's like craved to like be outside. There are like some days I'm so cooped up in the house and I just need to go outside, take a walk, go rollerblading, like one of my favorite activities to do. And just kind of just like be in tune with like nature and the universe. Like one of my favorite things, which I don't need to do more often that I don't do, like sitting at the beach during sunset. Sunset, first of all, is my favorite time of the freaking like day. It's just so relaxing and so peaceful. And you kind of just like look out to the water and you're just like, we are so small on this earth. And like a lot of the problems Problems that we think are so big are really not. That's actually the next one. Some things are just not so serious to get worked up about. I have never learned this so like hard in my life. It's so crazy how many things people let get to them and like you'll wake up the next day and you won't even remember. You'll like forget. Like you won't even like literally you won't remember. You have to think in the moment of like if something is making you angry or something is making you upset, whatever it is, acknowledge it. Don't don't just try to toss it to the back of your brain. Acknowledge it and be like, is this worth getting mad? Is this going to affect me down the road? Is this something that is like the biggest deal in the world that I need to give it the energy? Those are the things that you need to realize that sometimes things are just not worth your energy. It's just like not good for your mental health and for your spirituality either. So it's just like you need to acknowledge like, is this worth it? The energy to be angry is so much work for me like I actually hate it and then I'm like okay I'm like so tired of being angry that like I literally have no energy for it I don't get that by the way I made this juice with my new juicer this thing it's so much fun it's so much fun to make different combinations this literally has like carrots beets apples pineapple lemon ginger I think that's it it's so good mmm wow also, kind of going on with to not put your energy into certain things that just like don't need it. This goes for like people too. If there are people in your life that just bring that energy around, why are you going to sit there and feed into it? Don't feed into other people's energy because it will affect your energy and it will affect the things that happen around you. Don't bother surrounding yourself with people that are just going to bring you down and just don't support you. People that are envious of you. People that always have something to say about something you're doing. Like social media. This is like been said a lot this year and I like really agree to it it's like why do we bother to impress people that we don't even like what's the point why do we do those things and why do we care so much about what we look like or this or that who cares if it makes you happy and it makes the people around you happy you're not doing anything bad to them or whatever it is who cares? Surround yourself with people, the people, your group, people that when I say that, hey, I'm gonna be a YouTuber when older, don't think I'm freaking crazy. So like people like that, it's like, you know what? I believe in you. I'm here every step of the way. It's just so important. You are who you surround yourself with. So if you're surrounding yourself with somebody that's lazy, that doesn't do much, that doesn't care to like make their life better, you're going to reflect that. But if you have friends that motivate you, help you through your things and like wanna help you, wanna support you, wanna guide you, wanna be there for you, those types of friends and those types of family whatever those are the ones are like meant to be in your life and truly that are going to affect you in a positive way and I think it's super super important for example say you're going to change your career now you know maybe you don't want to be an orthodontist that was me I was gonna be an orthodontist then I was gonna be a nurse and then here we are now I'm like all into video editing technology and all this digital design stuff imagine you hear somebody and they're like I'm gonna be a youtuber you will actually never forget medical class in high school I was like telling my friends I'm like oh my god I'm so into YouTube like I would literally like I want this as my job all my like friends over there like oh my god like I know you can do it like you just have to keep posting this one girl I'll never forget she's like you shouldn't do that you should just stick to nursing like have that as your side thing but like YouTube isn't realistic I'm like bitch okay first of all there are people literally their whole life is YouTube and they've built so much from just having the platform of YouTube that they're able to build businesses they're able to do literally whatever because they have the following they have the fan base there's so many opportunities just from having a fan base no matter who does anything so with that being said it's like even just being a YouTuber you got to film your life you get to do all these things and then on top of that you get to literally do whatever else you want moving on to 2021 resolution so my big mantra for this year i read this book it's called girl stop apologizing by rachel hollis i'll put like the cover right here i'll also link it down below you can also go to your local library i just have a library card the big mantra that i am living by it's literally on my computer screen i want to look at that every day and be like yes bitch if not now then when and those little bit of words and that little sentence means so much like there's no perfect time for anything with working out for example people are always like i'm gonna wait till next monday to work out i'm gonna wait till next year i'm gonna wait till next month what's the point first of all days are made up anyways somebody literally made up the days so what's the point of waiting because there's never gonna be a perfect time so resolution was definitely doing youtube chasing my dream i want like a posting schedule because i feel like that will really keep me structured throughout my week i also want to rebrand my entire like youtube page like a new banner a new profile picture 
don't really know yet. So choosing a healthy lifestyle and it's not like eating healthy, working out at the gym like 5,000 days a week, no. I just want to choose a healthy lifestyle. Like I want to make foods that I enjoy. Like I'm not going to just make healthy foods that are disgusting and eat them. Like no. I just want to feel good. That's like biggest things. I want to feel good and I want to do workouts and stuff that I enjoy. And then start meditating. Oh my gosh. Okay. So and like learning more about my spirit, studying myself more. Like I really do want to continue studying myself because I feel like I did so much of that this year. So me and Jesse, we found this show on Netflix. It's actually really cool. Headspace Guide to Meditation. I'll put like a little picture here it's really cool because there's like eight episodes or whatever and each one is like 20 minutes so basically the guy it's like all through cartoons like he explains like how he got into meditating it's not boring like I promise it's not boring he get how he got into meditating and that the at the end of each episode there's like a little meditation but each episode like the first one which was like a beginner's one then the next one was like how to let go of like anger fear or like guide that meditation for that specifically there's like another one like how to love there's like all the how to that's how he categorizes the meditations so they're really cool and I've never been able to meditate. I'm not kidding. Every time I've tried to meditate before this, I fell asleep. Just full on fall asleep. Like I don't know why. No matter what time of the day, like it would literally be in the afternoon, I'd fall asleep. So yeah, I would definitely check that Netflix show out. It's so nice because it just really guides you like easily. And spirituality, like I really want to learn more about crystals. Like I have these. I see them all. Yeah, okay, cool. Anyways. <gasps> oh my god, no. My last thing, this is more of like a tip kind of thing that I've just like really implemented in my head. People that like do their 2021 resolutions, they will always be like, okay, so I'm working out next week and I'm going to work out every day. That's just like unrealistic if you're not a person that has worked out. To go from not working out to working out, I just feel like you're really going to set yourself up for failure because you're most likely not going to accomplish that. And if you do, how do you do it? Because like, you know, sometimes I set my goal and I'm like, can't accomplish it. It's better to just do smaller goals. For example, my goal for just this week work out twice a week just two times two days out of the week work out i think whatever it is just do it slowly so you're not overwhelming yourself so if you want to work out start off with once a week twice a week because once you accomplish that you're like wow like i did twice a week maybe next week i can do three times a week and then the week after two weeks after you'll want to do four times a week and then you're at like a good schedule that you can hold and you built yourself up to it <laughs> i ran out of storage so that was fun i was in the middle of like a very intense conversation and my camera was like <laughs> Ew. I mean, that was pretty much all I had to say. I feel like you should find like your set of words, your quote, and like put it everywhere. This is my freaking motto of the year. Take the initiative and start. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really opened up a lot. So like, I hope you guys really enjoy it. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And I'm really excited to start this new fresh journey on YouTube. And I love you guys so much. And I really appreciate the support and the people that support me. Thank you. And yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Taking thumbnails is so weird. <laughs> Peace out.